Hello everybody, this is Ryan over at High Carb Generator. Today I wanted to talk about binging and the shoulda, woulda, couldas that I hear in my DM. So usually it starts off with, I shouldn't have done it, but I did. Or how do you, how do you maintain such, you know, how do you stay so strict or how do you do this or, 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 or something like that. So I wanted to talk about binging. In my mind, binging strictly comes from the fact that you're not eating enough or you're not eating the right foods. Like, especially like when I was on the 50, 50 plate, personally, I, I, I really struggled not to binge. And I, I started binging on hummus and pita chips because it just wasn't enough. I was eating like four cups, big cups, you know, the four like mounded cups of broccoli. I think that was an entire bag, basically an entire two pound bag of broccoli. Let's just call it that. And about four to five pounds of potatoes. And it took me forever to eat, but I was so hungry afterwards. It was ridiculous. So I, I, I'm like, I couldn't take it anymore. And so I would start binging uh, at night. I would have my hummus and pita chips or tortilla chips or whatever. And my weight just kept going up, 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 up. And up because I can't really have a whole lot of extra extra fat before I start getting even fatter. And and I I think this is where people come from. You know, they're like, well, you know, I did what you said. I had a piece of rice and then I binged. Or something like that. Something along those lines. People don't realize just how much you've actually got to eat on this lifestyle. Uh, to be satiated, whether it's raw vegan or, I mean, especially raw vegan, or if, unless you're one of these raw vegans who eats nothing but chocolate and uh, avocado chocolate and, you know, like uh, some other kind of chocolate and then like cacao and like you're out, you know, you're wired like crazy. Um, you, you know, you, you don't have to eat a lot then because your calorie count is just astronomical, astronomically high. Um, so, but uh, other than that, if you're high carb, low fat, the volume of food that you've got to eat is, is something that you've never come across before, or you have, you know, you cut, you, you dip your toe into it and you, and you're like, oh, I can't do this and, or, or whatever it is. So y you binge, right? And then th this is where it gets really bad because you got the, t like two different kinds of bingers like me personally, right? Um, I'm the kind of binger that like. All right, well, I had a donut. I'm good at burning bridges. I may as well go down with my ship, burn my ship and go down with it. Give me another 13. And then for dinner, I'm like, well, I had 14 donuts for lunch. Give me 20. And you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm going down with the ship, right? Then you get the other people who have a donut and they're like, oh man, I had a donut. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm not going to eat the rest of the month. And then they starve themselves or, or they go on a water fast, you know, like water fast is going to help you. They go on a water fast the rest of the month. I'm like, why the hell are you going on a water fast for? And they're like, well, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you're going to tank your thyroid and it's going to be even worse. And you're going to be binging as soon as you're done with it. I mean, I don't understand this whole water fasting thing. Unless you are dying, unless you have like a limb falling off or, if, or something like that. I don't understand the point of water fasting. It seems pointless to me. Now, I know somebody's going, a lot of people are going to be like, well, the body. Bible says to fast. Okay. Are you living in a uh, 2000 years ago desert? Uh, no. Okay. Well then, you know, it's not, to, it's not terribly relatable. Now I know that that's uh, contradicts my, 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 some of my old videos where I said, you know, this is what the Bible says to eat, but the fasting thing was only done most of the time on religious like holiday type like easter or something like that or you know like for, for friday or you know it's just different places in within the calendar and yes people still follow that especially in the more arab arabic countries they still do some of this stuff but they don't do it because they had a donut the, the the day before right it, it, they didn't they don't do it for that reason it's absolutely or like a juice fast now i know people like juice fast and juice fast maybe can be fine because you can really load up on sugar 
Um, so it's not the same as a water fast, but you know what I mean. So you got the two different types. I'm the type that's just going to keep on, you know, I'm going down with the ship, right? I'm just going to keep on eating whatever it was. You know, if I bought an avocado and the one was good, I'm like, well, you know, I had one. <laughs> got five sitting here. May as well have all five right now. You know what I mean? So this is this is what I do. Um, and a lot of people do that. And a lot of people go the, you know, the complete opposite. They stop eating for the rest of their life as if, you know, that's going to solve anything. And then you hear all of the shoulda, woulda, couldas and, uh, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that. If only I would have eaten better. I could have just said no. You know, I hear this kind of stuff as if there's like some should have time machine that you can just go back and well, you say should have and a, a time machine pops up, right? And you whoop, go back and you do it over again. And it's not possible. You, you can talk about should have, would have, could all the time or the guilt. They're low energy and they don't do you any good. So you get to a point where you realize that you did it. You got to figure out why you did it. And maybe even figure out what you always go to. So if you always go to chocolate, which I'm not, I don't dislike chocolate, but it's not like something I crave. But a lot of people seem to crave chocolate. And actually, in my mind anyway, <laughs> if you mix dates and bananas or and lettuce, for whatever reason, it tastes like chocolate to me. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But <clears throat> it to me, it does, right? Or if you're, if it's, I, I don't know what, uh, chocolate seems to be a very common one. Or if it's like avocado, I don't know what you could replace that with, honestly. But like, you know, I, I just don't, I, I my in my mind, you're just not eating enough. And maybe some mineral or something that's within that, that you all of a sudden decide, or your body's like, man, we really need that. We know it's in X. So there might be different reasons behind it. The chances are real good, though, that you're just not eating enough. It's crazy how much you've got to eat. Like I've said that like three or four times in this video on a high carb, low fat diet it's crazy how much you got to eat now i know the kate is the keto claims that they you can eat however much you want or what the carnivore is like well eat an entire cow you'll lose weight or whatever it is right all these diets claim that you can eat however much you want and your body's self-regulating and in my mind the only and because i've done carn not really 100 percent carnivore i've done keto there's so many rules to keto so i did my version of keto um I could not eat as much as I wanted to, you know, at, at all. So, but, you know, all these diets claim that the only one that I noticed that I can eat as much as I want to is high carb, low fat. And as soon as I start adding too much fat in there, it, it just doesn't work anymore. And so, the, you know, the should have, would have, could is you did it, move on. I, there's probably a reason that you did it. I mean, on occasion, it's going to happen. Like if you're at a birthday party or uh, Christmas or whatever, whatever things that you like to celebrate, you know, we're coming up on Halloween. It is, you know, there's, there's definitely candies out there that are high carb, low fat, um, gummies and stuff like that that don't have gelatin in them um now this this particular one actually has gelatin in it i, I didn't read the thing right but this catalba you can find that at the at the dollar store um those things I, while they do have the food coloring in them they are pretty good and they're almost always vegan other than the one that i've got there for an example so try it out like go go get some gummies if you're really struggling with uh eating it as much as you want add gummies in there i know that helps quite a bit make your own candies it's, it's not terribly hard so there's different things that you can do you know and p people carry this stuff they just carry this stuff with them and, and you can see it on their face and they've got the guilt and they're like oh, i can't believe i did that like you know like at your funeral they're going to talk about that donut that you ate like did you see they had a donut 20 years ago can you believe it i mean these people are crazy right you know but they're not going to do that i don't think unless your unless your family's got a really boring life um, they're probably not going to remember the fact that you had a donut 20 years ago or, you know, like, or today or whatever it is. So just get over it, move on. 
and just analyze why you why you do it. You know what I mean? Because if you eat a ton of potatoes or a ton of rice or something like that, I, I honestly don't even know how you would eat a donut unless you just didn't eat enough of the food that you really should be eating. Uh, you know, it, that's just me. So pay attention to it. Watch, watch the reasons that you're doing it. There's always something that causes this to happen. You don't just wake up. Like if you're full, nothing looks good to you. And I think a lot of people don't actually get to that point. Or their mechanism is, is broken, and uh, supposedly there's this, you know, the leptin thing. I, I uh, Victoria kept, kept mentioning to me, um, you know, some of this stuff I don't look into too much. I'm like, I'm an anecdotal guy. Like, if I see if it works for somebody else, then you know, then fine. Um, but, and I know I, I do studies on here, or I show studies, but like honestly. I'm a real world guy. Like I just got to go see, you know, if it worked for these people and I know what they're eating, then chances are seeing how we're all human. I mean, we may look a little different, but internally everything works the same. So if it works for them, then it's going to work for us. And the thing that has worked throughout humanity is high carb, low fat, not keto, not carnivore. No one's chasing down a deer all day when they're passing banana plants. Sorry, it's just not going to happen. You know, I, I get people coming on here still. Even though I put uh, people getting tested, uh, you know, in grave sites and uh, dig sites and everything like that uh, for, uh, you know, they test what they ate and almost every single one is vegan. And if they're not, they're almost like 90% vegan and high carb, low fat. It's all starch based. You know, there's not a whole lot of fruit because you're not carrying a lot of fruit with you into, you know, out of, out of wherever it is because it doesn't last that long. And there's no point in drying this stuff because it, it just doesn't taste as good as dried starches do. So anyways, hopefully that did you some good. Um, and another thing I wanted to touch on this it has nothing to do with the, I probably should put this in another video, but people are coming at me like, I can't believe you don't like brown rice, or I can't believe, you know, uh, brown rice is the one that I really get attacked for. And it, I, I want to ask people like, it's a seed, right? It's in this pod. When was the last time that you ate an almond or any other kind of nut in its actual shell? Or did you take it out of the shell and eat the nut? And it's the exact same thing that you're doing when you eat rice. You're taking it out of its shell that really isn't that digestible to the human body. We're not horses. We're not pigs. We're not uh, cows that have four stomachs. So what's in the shell is what we eat. It's the same way with any any other kind of seed that there is. You take it out of the shell. It's not like, I mean, you can eat peanuts in the shell, but why would you, right? You can take, it's like bananas too. Like, why wouldn't you just take bananas out of its peel and eat it? So, that is my response to that. That doesn't really have a whole lot to do with what the topic of the video was. That's why I put it at the end, probably put it somewhere else, but... That's it. Share, like, comment, questions down below, and I'll talk to you next time.